Hi everyone, it's Jason back again, um, just with a quick little haul video. Um, I'm going to do these weekly I think, probably on either Monday or Tuesday. Uh, and instead of showing you every single little thing I've bought, because judging on the amount of stuff I've been able to pick up in the last few weeks, it's just going to get ridiculous and boring. So I'm going to give you like highlights and interesting stuff. And st I don't want too much crossover with the likes of Nick and Tom and things that they're going to be doing. You don't want to see a million and one PlayStation games and things like that. But I have come across a couple of unusual things and, and today is no exception really. Uh, I've been working today all day, well till uh, four. I've got a few days off now so I had arranged to pick a few things up that I'd seen on the Facebook selling pages. And I don't usually do very well off there but it so happened um, yesterday I managed to see two or three different things that I'd arranged to get today. Um, and um, while I was doing that, I saw this listed for sale. Now, I'm going to show you the Facebook page here. Now, this is what caught my eye. Uh, it's Pyrex. It's a 10 litre um, lab reagent bottle with a stopper in it. It's a little bit manky. I'm sure it'll clean up well. Doesn't seem to be any cracks or anything in it. And someone was just selling this on Facebook. So she had a look, I had a look and she was selling it for a fiver. I was a bit cheeky and asked if she'd take three quid for it because I hadn't Googled it or anything. It just seemed a bit unusual and we decided to, um, I'm getting it for four quid. Uh, she seems like a really nice lady actually. So I'm picking it up tomorrow morning and I'll show you what kind of condition it's in. I'll probably do before and after and clean it up. Now in the meantime, I've just been and had a look now and try to find it. Now, there are a few of them on eBay, but it's, it's quite kind of specialised equipment, really, because it's proper lab stuff. So I've Googled the thing itself, and I've found this here. I think that's the same item. It's got a stopper on it. 10 litre Pyrex. Uh, that. That. I think it's going to be pretty much it. Now, that's the price new. £201.71. I've just paid £4 for it. So what I'm going to try and do, uh, there are some similar ones on eBay on completed listings, selling between 30 and 50 quid. Now, I don't know, I don't know whether there may be somewhere better I can sell it on to get uh, you know, more money for it, but if I can get 50 quid on that, that'd be absolutely amazing for something that's cost me £4. And what a strange item to, to be selling as well. It's not even like a decorative bottle or anything like that, you know, it's just... Um, it's lab equipment, so yeah, uh, I'm not going to start um, making crystal meth, <laughs> uh, not yet anyway, not unless the eBay thing doesn't work out, so yeah, I don't, I don't know, It's uh, I wouldn't want it on display, it's it's, uh, it's, it's not very really nice, but it's, um, I, I presume that Pyrex is such quality stuff, it, it's, it's like the best of the best as far as lab stuff's concerned, so it's obviously what they use, um, yeah, so today I learned, as they say on Reddit. Right, I'm going to walk you over to my table and show you just the other couple of little things I've got. Only because it's some things that I haven't picked up before. And it's just weird that it all kind of turned up on the same day. So hopefully the video is all going to stay in the right orientation this way. And this time round. This here is cost me £20 and took a bit of a chance because I only got onto this because of Nick Hill's recommendation. And it's Playmobil. Massive carrier bag stuffed full of Playmobil. She wanted 20 quid for it. I tried to budget down and she was having none of it. Um, so I thought, okay. Now there's dragons and figures and islands by the looks of it. I haven't even gone through this yet. I just saw a picture of it and it seemed substantial enough to warrant spending 20 quid for it. So I think I'm going to have great fun going through this and identifying what sets there are and what pieces these are from because I love doing that. There's been times where I've been at the local charity shop and picked up like a big plastic tub full of like boys toys and odds and ends and I've sorted it out and then pulled out transformers out of it and then Lego and other like you know weird little toys and it's just great fun trying to identify them and googling the um, the stamps on them to try and work out where they're from. There's a lot of greenery in here. There were definitely dragons. Oh yeah, look, there's um like some kind of spooky pirate thing. But yeah, there's, there's some cool stuff on there. So what I'll do with that, when I've got it all out and sorted, um, I'll do another follow-up video and just kind of give you an idea. It's not really light in here, sorry. Give you another idea of... Let's get it into the light. 
you know what I can expect to achieve on it. But you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I haven't lost money on it either way. I think that there's a lot of stuff in there. I mean, that that, that bag is absolutely massive. It's a huge carrier bag full of it. So yeah, I can't wait to go through that. And um, the other thing I had today that I picked up um, was this, and it was someone was selling. I don't really know anything about jazz. I don't mind it. I don't like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of familiar with a bit of it. I've got an awareness of it, but I'm not like a jazz fan um, or anything like that. So don't judge me. But this woman was selling a box of 70 jazz CDs and she wanted 30 quid off of the 20. My cat's decided to climb in the box. You having fun? Come on, can we get out of there? Never ever buy an oriental cat. They are like having a small child, I tell you. I'm even better off with a dog. Just into everything. Right, yeah, so 70 jazz CDs. Now, yeah, so I've got it down to 20 quid. So they've worked out about 18 pence each, which is great. That's absolutely fantastic, you know, price. Um, you know, I could get more on Music Magpie for them um, if I wanted to chuck them on there. So I went through them and I wasn't expecting much. And, and most of them are scanning in on Amazon for... You know, between a penny and um, like 20p, 50p, which is fine. But I, as I thought to myself that there must be one or two in here amongst all of this that have some value. And sure enough, I can't remember which one it was. But I scanned, scanned about 20 of them. And in them, one of them is for, is on Amazon uh, for 15.99, um, new and used. And it's the cheapest one on there. So just on that one CD, um, I, you know, I could nearly get my money back. So yeah, I mean, it's it's great, that nice little collection. I felt a bit bad, really, because, you know, this woman, she had a house full of stuff, and I kind of said, oh, you know, I bought it all, I'm buying it for the pub just to play in the background, and yeah, I, I, I'm not really sort of someone that sort of knocks up stories. There you go, that's like 12 CDs in there. I thought it was a vinyl at first, but yeah, it's, it's 12 CDs. Can't seem to find that on the internet at all. The barcode's not scanning in anywhere, and Googling it brings up other typed in 12 CD Jazz Masters and it's brought up different ones but not this one. I'll have a look on Discogs because that's a little more music specific obviously and they might have some odd stuff on there that isn't on Amazon. And yeah, so you know, just keep on going. More and more stuff. See, I'd imagine there's some... Right there. Which was the one? I can't remember which one it was. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, t um, 20 quid for all of that. So again, I'm going to have great fun going through that. And what I'll probably do, I'll separate any that's worth more than a couple of quid individually and sell them. And then the rest of them, I'll probably make bundles up of about five or six um, CDs and list them as bundles for like, I don't know, five or each So for, for a bundle. So I can get a pound each back on them, then, then fantastic. And all I need to do really is sell... Um, two CDs that you know that are more collectible and, and you know it's paid for itself and the other little pickup I had today um it's just kind of weird and and if you didn't know I was into buying or selling you might have thought I was had like a, a weird sort of child shoe fetish or something but um someone on Facebook again this is this is all through Facebook this but I don't usually do well off there but um fate has been kind I got three pairs of kids shoes size six and they're in pretty good nick I'm gonna do with a little bit of a clean but they're not they're not minging I've um, got some nice Nike Airs there. Um, these were like six pound, oh, seven pound. I paid for all three pairs, so I got those. Some cute little things, and some little dinky Converse. It's like I've got giant hands. Ha! <laughs> so yeah, they're, they're cool. Little Converse All Stars. And um, got the on. Like that. Somewhere. Sorry guys, still not used to this. Uh, yeah, Converse All Stars there. Been quite good, Nick. And these fellas, which are Adidas. Um, I saw the picture of them and I could see the little Adidas logo and then it wasn't until I bought them that I turned them around and they're Adidas Predators. So yeah, it was quite, quite an aggressive styling for a four-year-old child, but yeah, hey, you know. So yeah, there we go. So that's that's uh, that's what I've got. I've got a few days off this week now, so um, I'm going to be listing stuff and selling stuff. Um, I'm going to do a follow-up video for my... Um, eBay tutorials, because uh, I had an absolute nightmare with the first one. Don't even want to talk about it. Um, so, yeah, that's it then, really, guys. So well, it's quite late, so I'm going to leave you to it. And um, I'll speak to you all again soon. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.